All right, what's going on, party people? We've got a, another custom e-bike build here. This is the Haro FL Plus. FL stands for flight line, apparently. This is for just launching off jumps, catching flight. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I build custom e-bikes. People bring me bikes. I turn them into e-bikes. I add the e. I'm an e-adder. So I'm a professional e-adder. E-adder. Let's go over this bike and uh, talk about what we did to it. So this is kind of a cool bike. It's uh, 26 by 2.8 inch tires. These are, I, I love these size tires. These are perfect. They're not quite fat, but they're not quite not fat. They have the perfect amount of like grip, but still agility. These are like my, these are my ideal tires. Actually, this is actually kind of like my ideal frame setup. 2.8 inch by, I would go 27 and a half. That would be my ideal setup. And then you would have a, just a sick bike, but it's pretty smooth just like this. So for this bike, we added a BBS HD motor. Puts out a thousand watts nominal, uh, a little over 1700 watts when it's at peak. We got a 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery. So this thing is gonna get between 30 and 60 mile range, depending on how you ride it. We put the Lecky bling ring on it. It's a 42 tooth. These. Leckies are awesome because of that narrow, wide tooth profile. So it really grabs onto that chain better and it keeps it on there. If you're having issues with the chain popping off a lot, it might be just because of your front chain ring. Also check to make sure that you have the right chain tension. You might have too many links in there, but this really helps hold onto the chain. And it also brings your chain line in closer to your bike a little bit. So this is a really good upgrade. We went with the 500 C color display and we added an inline brake cutoff sensor here because this is an all-in-one gear shift brake lever unit so instead of replacing this you just add this little sensor in it bingo bango have we added a gear shift sensor because it's a mid drive i always recommend putting a gear shift sensor on your mid drives it's just like for me it's a no-brainer um, it just cuts power momentarily while you're shifting just save your chain save your ricochet it'll add miles and miles and miles onto the life of your your drivetrain all right let's go ahead and put it through a johnny nerd out test Did pretty well, I would say. This is a good bike. This is a this is a way better e-bike than you would buy pre-made for the same price. Totally recommend get a custom e-bike. It probably is gonna cost less than what you're gonna buy, and it's gonna perform way better than what you're gonna buy pre-made. This is the future, not buying pre-made bikes. Take a look at some of my other videos. I do a lot of thoughts and opinion pieces on the e-bike industry, e-bike mechanics. I'm putting out new videos all the time right now i'm doing two a week i've got so many videos in queue that are i might have to do three or four a week just to get all the ideas out of my head because i'm kind of manic that way i love e-bikes i'm obsessed so if you're into stuff like that subscribe tell a friend like do all that jazz cool guys later